Hey guys, what's up? It's Nate and I am back with another hot sauce review. This uh, comes to me from Heartbreaking Dawns, the very limited run. This is Heartbreaking Dawns Repercussion. Uh, now feast your eyes on that satanic as fuck label. Uh, this is, uh, to say it properly, is Heartbreaking Dawn's Artisan Foods Repercussion 7 Pod Primo fu Face Fucker. Again, never said I was going to have a clean channel. Let this video be a testament to that. Now, this is an evil, evil looking label. Uh, I'm quite impressed with how satanic this looks. Um, the metal kid in me is uh, is very very excited by this label. Uh, let's see here what it says. As many people claim to have the world's hottest pepper, and at Heartbreaking Dawns we try them all. The Seven Pod Primo Pepper is by far the tastiest, hottest, and most underrated pepper in the bunch. Our repercussion is limited to 100 cases and the exclusive sauce of choice by Satan himself. When the Dark Lord reaches for fire, he reaches for the primo. Let's uh, take a look at the ingredients here, and what we got. If there's an ingredients list, yes. Ingredients. Primo peppers, Trinidad scorpion peppers, apple cider vinegar, water, lime juice, garlic, agave syrup, salt, and coriander. It's a very simple, uh, very straightforward ingredients list. Uh, you can see this too. Uh, it's, a, it's a little bit more uh, rustic in its presentation. You can still see seeds in this. Now, some people have a problem with seeds in their hot sauce. I don't. Um, I'm a big fan of texture. Uh, and as long as it doesn't mess with the flavor too much, it does not bother me at all. I like knowing where my food comes from. If we can gracefully get this label off here. And if I can continue saying that in every single video. Didn't do too bad that time. Let's uncork this. Thankfully, no flow restrictor here. And wow. That is a potent aroma. Like, I don't even have that up to my face and I can smell it. Like, immediately, that just punched me in the nose. That is a strong smelling sauce. Let's get a better sense of it. Mmm. Okay, heavy pepper aroma. Heavy vinegar aroma. Um. Mmm. This is going to hurt, hurt, hurt. Let's uh, pour out a little bit of this for myself and for the fallen homies. Yeah, it's a little chunky. Fresh pepper mash consistency. There are big chunks of pepper in this. Oh, this is scary. All right. Yeah, that's uh, that's about enough for that, I think. Yeah, this is one of the strongest smelling sauces. So strong. Oh, I'm scared. All right. For the Dark Lord. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> oh, dear Lord.
Oh. Oh. Whew. Right off the bat, that is devastatingly hot. It was frying my tongue, and it is shredding my throat. And it's making me salivate quite a bit. Flavor, very tart. That uh, tartness uh, from vinegar. Very pepper forward, very strong pepper mash flavor. which again, uh, really accents those floral notes in the seven pot primo that if you were eat a, uh, to eat a fresh pod, you don't get as much, much of that flavor. A real sweetness to it too. Like on the back of the flavor, a more rounded sweetness that could be the agave syrup. And this is giving me the worst whiskey chest I have ever had from a sauce. Period. Now, the throat burn on this is a uh, takes hold early, but uh, it's pretty much gone away. Boy, this just painful chest burn right now. And the warmth in the mouth. But the heat really comes on strong and fast. Very pleasant after flavor. Um, there's a hint of smokiness, which I really enjoy. But boy, this one hits hard and fast and violently. And where it stays, really, it lingers in the mouth. But where uh, most of the burn settles right in the chest. It is giving me like the worst case of whiskey chest I have ever gotten from a hot sauce, period. That is a hot one. Flavor is pretty damn good too. It's got a it's got a roundness to it that really helps out quite a bit. It's not quite as sharp tasting as uh, some of the other ultra hot sauces I've tried. Sensation in the chest is not pleasant at all, though. Um, 
on flavor. I mean, it's got character. Really uh, strong pepper mash flavor. Um, you get the uh, you know the tanginess of the vinegar, the um, complex uh, flavor of a uh, fermented pepper mash. Definitely a little bit more floral tones. Uh, that could be, I mean, from a fermented primo, you get that as well. But definitely, uh, I'd say more from the inclusion of Trinidad Scorpions. Um, with some of that floral flavor. Um, not enough to annoy me, though. So, that's good. Um, rounded out with a nice sweetness and smokiness at the end. Uh, good finish. Um... For me, uh, it leans a little too heavy on the vinegar at the front end of the flavor, um, but it's pleasant overall. Um, I would give it a solid 8 out of 10. Um, now on heat, that's a strong 9 out of 10 on that, um, but it's, it's a different burn than I've ever experienced from a hot sauce before. Um, it immediately fries your tongue, explodes in the mouth, uh, and latches onto the throat, and then moves quickly to the chest and just burns the hell out of it. Um, that chest, uh, chest burn is finally starting to chill out a bit, but whew, that was, again, the most intense whiskey chest I have ever gotten. Uh, from either pod or sauce. Uh, that is harsh. Um, but, I mean, if you, you like a, a vinegar forward, you know, very old school pepper mash uh, type sauce with just a ballsy heat, then this is going to be a good sauce for you. Um, I will put a link to Heartbreaking Dawns in the description um, and they'll have a list of their retail partners where you can find this. Um, again, it is a very limited batch, so you might have a hard time finding it, but you know, ask around, someone will help you. Um, ask me, I can help you find it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, like comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and I will see you in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your evening.